Let us observe the sun. Starting off today with a clip, from the LASCOC2 filter, showing the activity of the sun, from the 7th to the 9th today. Watch closely, and you can see a halo solar flare erupt from the sun on the 9th today. It will show up better on the ink filter, which is up next. Now a better view of the halo flare, on this ink filter. Using this CME model, the flare is mapped, as the flare can be seen overtaking several satellites, along with Mercury and Earth receiving a dose of radiation and solar wind on the 10th. On this flare classification map, from the last three days we see 5C flares and 1M flare that occurred today, which is on the direct path with Earth. Now the flares from the last 24 hours. With this geospace magnetosphere model, a strong wave of solar wind, is observed impacting Earth's magnetic field today. Notice the intensity of the wind using this energy meter above. Here is another model showing the high intensity, of the solar wind today. This geoelectric field model, is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. The highest point of energy is just above 10 MV, which is lower than mid-range of strength. On this HMI intensity gram map, observed on the Earth-facing side of the Sun, one sunspot region, 2882, which is Earth-facing. Seen on the SDO 1700 filter is sunspot region 2882. Here is a closer view. Shown on the sunspot progression chart, we can see the sun will be increasing in sunspot numbers through the coming months and years, which mean an increase in solar flares. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.